Hello, this is Colin Grogan, and I'm just going to show you the different options available in Unity, and this is for my individual research paper slash poster. So, just going to, sorry, just checking something there. Um, so, at the moment, I have a large room here that has nothing in it, and I'm just going to add a fire animation to it and then add a sound which I um, sourced online so when you select the sound you can then preview it over here in the bottom right hand corner so it's just a simple fire sound and then by dragging it and clicking and adding it to you add it to the particle effect so there it is in the scene and now to listen to it you can actually toggle it toggle it on and off here so I'm not too sure if you can hear that there we go so the camera now acts acts as the audio listener in the scene here without compiling the game so you can uh, adjust it so by moving in and out you can hear that the volume increases and decreases so, uh, say if you had multiple um, sounds in your scene, you could type in the name of the sound that you had entered. And at the moment, I've got two fires. So, I just get this one here. Actually, that's one that shouldn't be there. So, this one here. So, here's the sound. That's the sound I'm just after adding. And now I'm allowed, to, I'm able to uh, edit the options of it over here. So here, these are just the uh, standard uh, options you have. As you can see, it's a 3D sound. Uh, so it just allow allows you to uh, change the 3D sound options available here. So the first option is to mute. So you can mute it on and off in the in the scene here. Bypass effects. That's got more to do with the tr with the sounds you can add or the effects that you can add in later so at the moment I don't have any effects added but if I did I could toggle them on and off as well as effects that the audio listener had. Um, same applies for reverb zones which I will add now uh, soon um, I might actually do that in another video and play on awake so as soon as the game compiles and starts then the sound starts straight away and loop loop uh, should be selected so it loops the loops the sound over and over again. And you can set the priority of the sound. So if to say if there's multiple sounds in the scene, you can uh, you can you can adjust which ones are heard uh, over other ones and things like that. And there's the volume which just uh, adjusts the volume of the the sound it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't do anything in terms of the distance the player is away from the sound it just uh, increases it or decreases it and same applies for the pitch. Uh, okay, I think I might just leave it at that and then do another another video on the three D sound.